Hi. Hello, everyone. Um, today, me and my partner will be arguing, or yeah, arguing about that the United States should extend the deadline of withdrawing U.S. troops from Afghanistan in 2014. I have four points to show why we should extend the deadline. One, withdrawing from Afghanistan risks the United States national security. Two, U.S. troops training larger Afghan force gives Afghanistan government time to mature. Three, Taliban and Al-Qaeda have an open door to Afghanistan if the U.S. troops withdraw. And four, the help and aid from the biggest superpower country in the world. All right, so to my first point. Um, withdrawn from Afghanistan risks the United States national security. So Afghanistan plays a huge role in strategic warfare because it's because of its unique location. It's right next to Iran, it's next to Iraq, and it's next to Pakistan. Um, military operations are carried out from bases in Afghanistan. So if you ever see those YouTube videos of like drones flying around, talking to people, seeing little white figures move, there you go, those are drones that they all take off from Afghanistan. Um, and also, the, the mission that the Navy SEALs did to kill Osama bin Laden, uh, uh, it, it was launched from Afghan, Afghanistan. Now, um, it also allows the U.S. to influence events in Pakistan and Iran. So if there's a conflict in Pakistan, we're right where they're in neighboring countries, so they could get there right away. Now, if you withdraw from Afghanistan, they won't have the chance to stabilize their country or government. So maintaining, maintaining a longer presence in the country is the best way to prevent future attacks on the U.S. Because we're there, we'll be handling stuff, like we're taking care of the problem, making sure that we won't get attacked. <coughs> um, also, if we withdraw, it will allow the Taliban and Al-Qaeda to have an opportunity to regroup and rebuild. Because they're scattered all over the Middle Eastern. And they're usually, they're mostly uh, in North Afghanistan. Um, and then the death of Osama bin Laden. Even though we killed him, we hunted for him, we searched for him, even though we killed him, it's not going to stop the terrorist attacks. Terrorist attacks are still happening. And, um, and since we killed their Al-Qaeda leader, it's going to cause anger in their hearts and in their minds. And they're going to want revenge against <coughs> us, the United States especially, since we're the ones that killed Osama bin Laden. Now, to my second point, uh, U.S. troops training larger Afghan forces gives Afghan, Afghanistan government time to mature. Okay, so America has two main missions it wants to accomplish for the Afghan government. And that is one, training Afghan forces, and two, equipping Afghan forces. Uh, they want to do this so Afghanistan does not slip into chaos again. Uh, and by training, yeah, by training and equipping these Afghan forces, they can fight against the Taliban forces, and the U.S. troops wouldn't have to always be in combat operations. Captain Muhammad Fahim, 2nd Brigade of the Afghan 205th Corps of Camp Eagle, a major Afghan army base in Zabul province, states that our conflict right now with the Taliban are only IEDs, and IEDs are improvised explosive uh, devices. So they, they usually plant those on the ground and pretty much um, ambush attacks. And because they can't fight us any other way, so to protect our troops, we really need to be good at defeating bombs. And according to CNN, since we've been training Afghan forces, the Afghan forces are now lead more than 80% of the combat operations and controls and control areas covering more than three quarters of the population. And the U.S. military has actually pulled back from combat operations and they are now into less dangerous roles of advising and training to Afghan uh, soldiers. So if, you have, if U.S. Troops, troops withdraw, Taliban and Al-Qaeda have an open door to Afghanistan. Uh, once the troops leave, Tal the Taliban can retake Afghanistan, like I mentioned before, and many Afghan citizens fear that with no protection from U.S. troops, they will not be safe, especially women and minority groups. And um, to, ta to top that off, the Taliban are targeting only Afghan soldiers and Afghan police to try to try and show that without the U.S. troops, Afghan citizens um, will not be safe. Now, um, okay. So last year, 2012, it was the deadliest deadliest so far for Afghan forces, with more than 3,400. 
soldiers and police killed. And um, it was 1900, 19, 1950 more than the previous year, and that was from CNN. Okay, now my fourth, my fourth uh, point: the help and aid from the biggest superpower country in the world. Uh, we can extend the deadline until Afghanistan can stabilize and establish their own army and security forces. Um, if we look at Iraq, what we did with Iraq, uh, we trained a bunch of security forces. U.S. troops trained security forces, and they proved that they are capable of defending themselves. And what I said earlier about the U.S. troops are going to less dangerous world, that's what, that's what they did during Operation New Dawn, um, which uh, Operation New Dawn was, uh, after 2010, the remaining troops in Iraq uh, were, de were designated as advised and assist brigades. So they were assigned to just tell the uh, uh, Iraqi soldiers what to do. So if we do that to the Afghan, Afghan government, they, they can become stabilized and they can hold on their own. Now, if for previous experience, if we look at Japan after World War II, uh, they were in really bad shape. The econ but now the economy of Japan is the third largest national economy in the world after U.S. and China. And we helped Japan. Uh, after the seven years of U.S. occupation of Japan proved to be a blessing in disguise as the Japanese received $2 billion in aid from the U.S. And, uh, and also, Japan also saved money on defense since uh, we made a World War, Peace, World War Peace Clause and that noted that Japan wouldn't have to maintain its own military forces and that the U.S. would help provide military protection if, need, if necessary. So that's what we can do to uh, help Afghanistan and extend the deadline of U.S. troops uh, from Afghanistan, in Afghanistan.